Tonight, an example of how a fallen Elwood police officer touched the community he served. A man shot and killed Officer Noah Chavez early Sunday morning during a traffic stop. But hours before he died, Officer Chavez had a chance encounter with a local artist. WRTV's Caitlin Kendall found the artist who now plans to honor the fallen officer. Ah, the sound of burgers frying. A step back in time, an old-fashioned diner, proudly displaying American flags. Everywhere you look. Inside, this might just look like any other small-town diner. But step outside of Joiners in downtown Elwood, and you'll find this, a mural that means much more to this small town after losing one of their officers. The symbol of the flag stands for freedom, and uh, sometimes we lose sight of that, but it's real. But it did come with a cost. Mark Joyner, the owner of Joyner's, is referring to lives lost. It's hard to understand. It's hard to take it in. But stars and stripes, a symbol that goes beyond the flag. The mural, bigger than most, started as a project before this community was faced with tragedy. Trying to find a way of doing advertising, let people know we was here. But the uncanny timing is what this story is really about. Everything that could go wrong goes wrong. The artist, Theodore Winters, a 50s themed painter. His canvases in his home studio, much smaller than the building in Elwood he was hired to paint. That mural was supposed to be finished Saturday, but after complications, Winters was pushed back. That small moment of fate changed the true meaning of this painting. The timing of this is just crazy. Saturday evening, Winters says he was working on finishing the mural. A police officer stops by and he says, hey, I really like the artwork. He had a presence. He looked at you and when he smiled, it made you smile back. A conversation with an officer, Winters says moved him. He remembers the character, the way he carried himself, strong, proud, and a kind man. He looked at me, he smiled, he got in his cop car and drove down the street. That next morning, Winters would finish the mural. I go home, I'm watching the news. It was Officer Noah that I talked to Saturday night. It was him. Officer Chavez was killed in the line of duty, not long after that short encounter with Winters. And it's almost like right after he left, we raised the flag that's almost 400 feet big. A symbolism that goes beyond the original meaning. Now it's a focal piece, members of the community uniting as one. You have people that are Republicans, people that are Democrats, people that are Libertarians, all over the political spectrum. They're not politicizing the flag. Instead, they're seeing it as a memorial for an officer who laid it all on the line. I think he was a hero. I think he was a hero, and I think that it's very rare that we have people like him in America. Working for you, Caitlin Kendall. WRTV. So great to hear from him too. That mural will be dedicated in memory of Officer Chavez later this month. It was originally expected to happen Saturday, but the family has moved back the ceremony. They aren't sure the exact date yet. We will learn about funeral arrangements for Chavez this week.